Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered playing the brand new Weekend Warfare game mode. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Mad Props, it's going to be available for an entire week. It's kind of a twist on Prop Hunt itself, though I have to tell you guys, it's probably my least favorite Weekend Warfare game mode that they have ever put out. Now I'm going to tell you guys why. It is probably the most unbalanced game mode in Call of Duty history. So basically it's Prop Hunt, right? We all know how Prop Hunt is played, but there are a couple of rule changes. Number one, players are able to make their own classes. That's a pretty big deal. Number two, props can actually kill players. That's a big deal as well. They blow themselves up like a C4 and they can kill enemy players that way. Props have three lives, players have one life, and it's kind of a team deathmatch style of a game mode. Now, the problem with the mode itself is, as you guys can tell, it's very boring gameplay, but definitely gets the point across. If you're playing as a person, you can just get to a location and then just shoot fish in a barrel. Like, how is a prop supposed to sneak his way up here without any of us seeing him and shooting him? It just, it's something that can't be done. And there's a lot of maps in Modern Warfare Remastered that have a very similar layout to Crash. For example, Overgrown here. How am I supposed to kill those people right there? To be able to get over to that building, I need to walk across the fence they have a claymore at the end of the fence and they also have two people just aiming at the fence because that's the only way a prop can actually get up there do you see the problem with the game mode as a whole now there are some maps where it's actually kind of easier for a prop to do well such as bog but even on bog you have people getting on top of the tank you have people getting on top of the crates and it's pretty difficult if you're playing as a prop every single match that i've played of this new game mode ends with the humans winning the props losing and honestly guys Guys, if you're playing as a prop, it's almost better for you to just AFK because you do get a good amount of experience while playing in this game mode. Now, as a prop, you get pretty much no XP unless you get kills, but just AFK, I hate telling people to do this, but just AFK, you will not be kicked because they don't have that system in place right now for one reason or another. Wait till you're a human, then once you are a human, you just get a ridiculous amount of experience because you are pretty much invulnerable to the props unless, of course, you fall off or something like that. Like, for example, here's a clip on Overgrown. This guy fell off the roof. I ran over there. I was able to blow him up, but the people actually on top of the roof, I had no chance of actually killing. Another example, check out Crash here, right? I showed you guys me on top of the roof on Crash. Let's look at this from the perspective of somebody playing as a prop. How am I supposed to kill the three people on top of this roof right here? So to accomplish this, I am going to need to get on top of the balcony right here in front of me, run and jump across to the building that has these sandbags on it, get on top of a sandbag, run and jump across on top of the light pole. From there, run and jump and get on top of the building that they are camping on, run over, blow up, hopefully not being seen this entire time, and killing one of their players. Then I need to do it all over again, but then jump across the building once again and blow up the two other people on the other side. Again, hoping I don't get seen the entire time. Do you see the problem with the game mode? It is broken at a fundamental level, and I know people don't want to hear this, but I feel as though this perfectly shows why Infected would not work in Modern Warfare Remastered, because if you don't have a form of a ranged attack, and the people you are playing do have a ranged attack, they are always going to win. Even if you give them shotguns, they are going to win. There's a reason why in Infected, even back in Modern Warfare 3, they eventually gave the Infected throwing knives because you need those to be competitive. If not, you are just running to your death over and over, and that's what happens here in the Mad Props game mode. Now, I do have a couple of solutions, and I have a feeling Raven Software is seeing all this feedback because pretty much everybody I've talked to today agrees that this game mode is just fundamentally broken. One of these solutions would be making it so humans cannot jump. If humans humans could not jump and they were forced to stay on the ground like you guys were seeing here in this clip, then the props themselves have a much more of a fair chance. They can actually get close enough to actually blow up the human themselves. I think that would actually be a pretty good solution. Alternatively, you can allow players to continue to be able to jump, but instead make it so as a prop, you have old school style jump height. Check out this clip right here. These people are camping on top of the rooftop. There is one way on top of that roof, and that's by running across the fence. They have a claymore there, and they have two people looking at the fence. There is no way as a prop we are going to be able to get close enough to those people but if I had old school style jumping I could very easily flank these guys so in old school there are three ways on top of this building you could go across the fence like they expect you to or you could go ahead and get on top of the brick fence right next to me then jump on top of the roof or you could go over to the tank get on top of it and then jump on top of the roof from there so I feel as though giving the props the ability to have old school style jumping would really give them a lot more options and make the game mode a little bit more balanced
balanced because right now it is incredibly unbalanced and really not fun unless you're playing as a person and even if you're playing as a person the only really fun thing about the game mode is the fact that you're just kind of standing there getting a bunch of experience and knowing that you are going to have four depot credits coming to your account at the end of the game that's like the most fun part of the game mode in my opinion so I feel as though they should rework it maybe even while they're trying to fix it give us a different weekend warfare mode to play while it's being fixed and I'm not talking about removing this mode entirely I'm saying give us two different weekend warfare modes bring back capture the flag or something like that just so we have something fun and interesting to play while this game mode actually gets fixed but for those people that do like playing it they can still play it just make it so there's two weekend warfare game modes I don't know those are my thoughts I hope you guys all enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below and just to end it off here if you don't want to play Modern Warfare Remaster this weekend because this game mode is kind of blah there are some other options out there currently so in Black Ops 3 for an entire week you'll be getting double experience while playing in Fracture and if you guys have not tried the game mode Fracture I highly recommend it it is one of my favorite game modes in Black Ops 3 in fact it may be one of my favorite game modes of all time I really do enjoy Fracture I'm going to be playing a lot of Black Ops 3 this week on the PC just to utilize double XP and level up and stuff like that or alternatively if you do like Infinite Warfare all or nothing is making a return it will be available for an entire week so that's all I have for you guys in today's video I hope you guys all enjoyed it let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day